Hello and welcome back to the third year statistic course with QGIS and R. The main topic of this course is structural analysis for Kriegin co Kriegin interpolation. This is the second lesson of the course and today we are going to be talking about omnidirectional semivariogram cloud. Let's start with the summary of the second lesson. First we are going to see the definition of the semivariogram function. We are going to define each of the parameters that we can see in this function, like the semivariance, gamma, the h, lag distance, the n, number of pairs, and also the tail and the head. Then we are going to see how to make the construction of the omnidirectional semivariogram cloud and we are going to see how we can get the information that we need to create this graph. It means that we are going to see how to calculate the lag distance h and also how to calculate the semivariance gamma depending on the lag distance. Later we are going to work on the first script related to the omnidirectional semivariogram cloud with data without trend. And then we are going to create our first omnidirectional semivariogram cloud. Then we are going to create a new script, but in this case it's going to be the covariogram. And then we are going to create a graph that is going to be related with the omnidirectional covariogram cloud. Later we are going to put these two graphs together the semivariogram and the covariogram and we are going to compare them to see what are the differences and why in most of the cases we are going to use just the semivariogram cloud. The next step is going to be to work with data with trend. Then we are going to create several scripts to remove the trend from our data in order to have omnidirectional semivariogram cloud without any trend. Then we are going to plot the omnidirectional semivariogram cloud with trend and after that we are going to use the script to get the same graph but in this case with the trend removed. It means that it is going to be the omnidirectional semivariogram cloud for the residuals. Later, we are going to see what is the relation between the scripts that we are using to create the omnidirectional semivariogram cloud for the residuals and the values for the residuals that we get when we was using the multiple regression analysis that we did at the second course. And how important is to do the multiple regression analysis in order to be more flexible with your data and to have more resources to complete your structural analysis. Remember, if the data doesn't have trend, then we can apply ordinary creaking. If the data has trend, we are going to apply universal creaking. Universal Kriegin is going to remove the trend from the data automatically. But if we are doing the multiple regression analysis, we can separate our data in a trend and in a residuals. And the residuals are free for any type of trend. Then with that residuals, we can apply ordinary Kriegin. When we have the data associated with the trend and with the residuals, we are more flexible to manipulate our data. And that is really important for the structural analysis. The last script that we are going to see in this lesson is going to be useful to extract the lag distance and also the semivariance for all the uh, pair of samples 
in our semi variogram cloud. And that one is going to be pretty useful if you want to use that data in an spreadsheet. And that's what we are going to do at the end of the lesson. We are going to see how we can create the omnidirectional semi variogram cloud in an spreadsheet and also how we can uh, make the regression line associated with the semivariance. Remember that the video that you watch, it was just a summary of the second lesson of the third geostatistic course. If you want to have full access to the course, just go to the GeoRGV community website at gscourse.online then go to the tab courses, get enrolled in the third year statistic course. Then you can start the course. And here you can see the lessons that we already loaded. We have lesson zero, that is the introduction. Lesson one, that is the random function and stationarity. Lesson two is the summary that we did today for the omnidirectional semivariogram cloud. Lesson three is the directional semivariogram cloud. And lesson four is the experimental semivariogram. Then I'm going to be adding more lessons. I'm going to try to do that one one per week approximately. And the total number of lessons I said at the introduction that is going to be around six, but I'm going to say that it's going to be longer. And also I said that the content is going to be around six hours for the course, but now already it's about four hours or even more. And then I also believe that it's going to be more than six hours. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next lesson.